1546, Navy administration formed. Henry VIII creates the first permanent administration for the Navy via letters patent. 1588, Spanish Armada. To defend her realm, Queen Elizabeth mobilizes the entire Navy of England. 80 vessels commanded by the Lord Admiral Howard of Effingham. Notable subordinates include Francis Drake. 1657, Battle of Santa Cruz. General at sea, Robert Blake wins a devastating victory over the Spanish. 16 Spanish ships are destroyed at a cost of only 200 British casualties. Spain's finances are left in ruins, forcing her to shelve plans for the reconquest of Portugal. One of the finest victories in the annals of the Royal Navy is one off France's Biscay coast near Saint-Nazaire on a stormy November day. The wonderful year of victories immortalized in the song Hearts of Oak, composed to commemorate the battle. 1798, the Battle of the Nile. Rear Admiral Horatio Nelson achieves one of the most decisive victories in the Age of Sail, re-establishing British command in the Mediterranean. His fleet of 14 ships captures six and destroys seven French vessels from a total of 17. 1805, the Battle of Trafalgar. An overwhelming victory over the French and Spanish fleet off Cape Trafalgar gives the Royal Navy its most famous triumph and confirms a long tradition of naval supremacy. The defeat ends Napoleon's planned invasion of England, but the battle leaves Nelson mortally wounded. Shot by a musket ball at around 1.15, he dies at 4.30, only when victory is assured. 1861, HMS Warrior commissioned. The first Royal Navy vessel built from iron, Warrior brings together a series of technological innovations which highlight Britain's industrial power and her determination to remain in complete command of the sea. 1901, first British submarine, Holland 1. Admiral Sir Arthur Wilson VC stated at the time that submarines were underhand, unfair and damned un-English. However, the submarine service soon proves its worth in World War I, where it's awarded five of the Royal Navy's 14 Victoria Crosses of the war. 1916, Battle of Jutland. The greatest naval battle of the First World War, and the greatest of all time in numbers of battleships and battlecruisers engaged, was fought off Jutland in the North Sea on 31st of May 1916. 1939, the Battle of the Atlantic. Britain's survival during World War II depends upon convoys bringing millions of tons of essential supplies and materials from America. They're prey to roaming wolf packs of German U-boats that inflict heavy losses. The tide eventually turns by 1942, with naval forces inflicting massive damage on the U-boats through superior technology. 1940, Battle of Taranto. The fleet air arm launches the first all-aircraft ship-to-ship naval attack in history, flying a small number of fairy swordfish torpedo bombers from HMS Illustrious to attack the battle fleet of the Italian Navy. The devastation wreaked on the Italian warships marks the beginning of the rise to power of naval aviation over the big guns of battleships. 1982, Falklands Campaign. A carrier and amphibious task force supported by nuclear submarines land three Commando Brigade Royal Marines and Army Regiments in a major joint operation to liberate the Falkland Islands from Argentinian forces. 2001, Afghanistan. Royal Marines and Navy personnel are deployed post 9-11. They play a significant role in the war against terrorism, preventing Afghanistan becoming a safe haven for terrorists. They help rebuild communities, bring stability and allow political and governmental institutions to operate. 2003, Iraq. Royal Marine Commandos play a vital role securing oil fields and engaging enemy forces across southern Iraq. Naval vessels protect strategic gulf waters and numerous oil installations. In 2011, after eight years, the Royal Navy proudly leaves Iraq, having successfully trained the Iraqi Navy at the port of Umm Qasr.